it's Shannon and I wanted to thank Graphic Stock for sponsoring today's video. Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and illustrations with more than 350,000 images and growing. And all of these images come with a royalty-free agreement so you can't get hit with copyright claims. We're giving away seven days of graphic stock so you can try it out and get access to this massive image library and royalty-free license for free. So go to graphicstock.com backslash YouTube or check out the link that I have in the description box below so that you can start downloading and get started today. So let's get started with today's project. I'm actually going to be using one of the images from graphicstock.com. tray all ready to go and now it's time to create and add the image to the front. So I am just in graphicstock.com's library here and I've searched laurel wreath and then I've chosen vectors here and that's where I have found these images here. Um, so as you can see there's some different options and this just brings up anything that has that laurel wreath in it and the one that I like and want to use is this one right here so this one is wedding imitation template chalkboard style vector card so if you're looking for that and you're using your free seven-day trial and you want to replicate that go into this right here and this is the laurel wreath that we're going to be using so I'm just going to download the JPEG file so you click next to the JPEG and then you hit download. That's going to bring, depending on your computer, I have Windows 10, so mine's downloading right here and it's going to get sent into your download folder. Now I'm going to go into my Silhouette program and open up the JPEG within Silhouette Studio. So now I have my JPEG opened up in Silhouette and I'm going to come in and zoom in on this wreath here because that's what we're going to be working on and I'm going to come up here to my trace option and select trace area then I'm going to just 
select or drag this box around the wreath. Now I'm gonna, I don't know why, if you, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but for me, I always take the high pass filter off, which usually fills it all in, but I like to make sure my lines are nice and crisp, so I take this um, threshold up a little bit. So we're gonna try 55, and that looks pretty good to me. So then you come over here to trace, you're gonna delete your background, and then you're left with the wreath and a couple extra little things that your um, trace grabbed along with it. So I'm just going to fill this in. You can go right click, release compound path, and select these unwanted pieces. Now I'm going to drag and regroup this. So now I have my wreath by itself and it's already um, in a, it's got the outline on it so it already knows where to cut. So now that we have that, I'm going to do a little bit of editing to make this work for the size and project that I'm going to be using it on. Alright, so I've done some editing and added the um, text here using that laurel wreath from graphicstock.com. And what I did was, this is Lucinda Fax font, and then this is Magnolia Sky. So if you want to replicate that, you can use those two fonts, Lucinda Fax and Magnolia Sky. Now I adjusted my page size here to 8x8, eight eight, which is the size that I want for our wood tray. and. Now that I have this designed and created, all I have to do is go over here. If you are going to be using um, contact paper stencil for this, you want to cut this on 3, 8, and 3. And if you're going to be using vinyl or aura mask stencil, you're going to want to cut this on 3, 8, and 8. So I'm going to go ahead and do the aura mask and so I'm gonna set this to 3, 8, and 8 and then I'm just gonna send it over to my silhouette.